Welcome back. I'm Pete, and you're watching the Custom Car Channel. Uh, customer just dropped off their truck today, this morning. It's Saturday. Hey, there's the F-150. Uh, it's a 2005 Dodge Dakota. It's 4.8. He wants the transmission fluid changed. It said uh, it's got a delay in the shifting. When you first start it up, like you go into reverse, there's a little delay sometimes. Like He said like 1 out of 15 times. And then he did notice that the transmission temperature light came on once. So he doesn't want to diagnose for now, but he wants to have the fluid changed, the filter changed, and see if that does anything. So I told him I could do it. And then he gave me a list of other stuff, but we'll get into that later. So it's like key cutting and programming, spark plugs in the coils, a CV axle, I can't remember what else he said. I wrote it down. So, um, I was thinking, let's get started on that transmission see what we wind up with. See what we run into. Can't be that bad, can it? Hopefully I don't have to pull the exhaust. Alright, uh, I'm going to bring it in, rack it up, and let's get started. Okay, so I think the first thing we should do is check the transmission fluid. It says idle and neutral. ATF plus four. Alright, I'm going to set the rack and then, then we'll check it because I don't want it to roll. And before you service the transmission, it's also a good idea to check it where the level's at. Just in case you don't know how much to put in. So the transmission fluid is at the full hot mark, and it's, it's not too bad, looks pretty good actually. Alright, uh, let's lift her up and see what we gotta do. I'm gonna have the door open today because it's, it's like a really nice day. It's like 50 out right now, but it's gonna get warmer. Maybe I'll turn the brightness down for you. Yeah. Looks like they're eight millimeters. All right, let's get started at this. I think what I want to do is, uh, since them back bolts are really tucked up in there, I'm going to get them out first, and then we're going to let the front of the pan down and drain the fluid into the pan. But right now, I'd like to get the back bolts out because I'm not going to be able to get to them very easily. I can't get to them very easily. So I got a little wobble sock in a quarter inch.
Maybe that's what these holes are for? No. So there's one right here that's going to be a pain. I am able to get the socket on it. It's a little too tight. Let me let me get a little breaker bar. We'll try that. So I got my little breaker bar. We'll just break it loose and then we'll see if we can. That's not too bad. I guess you could wrench these out. Let's try it now. I got it. Alright, there's one more over here. There was a hole. Now that hole's not lined up good enough. There is a gasket on this pan. I don't know, some of the some of the Chryslers are all silicone down there. Okay, so now I can get to the rest of these bolts. I think so. Let's uh, start taking them out in the front. There's some rough spots in that pan I don't like, but. So I usually start in one corner and I'll work my way around. Usually got to get a few of them out before she, oh, she's starting to drip now. Good. That's what we want to do. That's what I want to do. So there's one. There's only two bolts left. So let's get a, a ratchet in a socket and we'll just crack them loose ever so slightly. Now let's crack this one loose. There we go. That's working. So I don't want to make a mess. I have a thing about messes, I guess. that drink. We'll give her a minute to let it drink. While that's draining, I'm going to go get the parts washer ready because we're going to wash this pan in the parts washer. Okay, it's been draining for like a half an hour. Let's get after it. Hopefully I don't get too much on me. I do think that it was about a quart and a half overflow because it's not it's not fully warmed up and it was at the full. I don't think that pan is coming down in the front. I'm going to get a long something and be very careful about pulling down on it. Unless we missed a bolt. I don't think we did. So I'm just going to be really careful about giving her just a little... Must have missed a bolt. See any missed bolts? Yeah, 
It's loose. Oh, I want to come down on that side so good. Guess if that's what it wants to do. All right, we're going for it. I heard some hit the floor. I don't think it's ever gonna quit draining. Alright, should we get her out of there? Maybe it don't come out of there. Feels pretty light now. Oh, why they just don't put a drain plug in them? In my older cars, I used to do put my own drain plug in. I try to tip it. Okay. There's a two filters in there. Here, how about that? We only spilled like three drops so far. Well, hopefully, the customer got me the parts. The customer got me all his own parts. So, so hopefully, we have this filter also. Looks like it's pretty good shape on the inside. Not too much, not too much in there on the magnet or anything. All right, I'm gonna put this over in the parts washer. Don't worry, I will, I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna go check the filter box and see if we got this filter. Whoever thought they would put a spin-on filter? inside the transmission okay so we got two filter kits and I see what the difference is is the length on this so I think this is the deeper one but we did not get this filter so we will be replacing this filter I'm just gonna stick my caliper up here and this is just my cheap one I use for messing around like this Let's see which one it is. So it's this one right here. But here's this other one. Let me here's the other kit the guy got for me. And let me put my caliper up here. So that's the difference, three eighths of an inch. The customer's on his way to get me a spin-on filter that's inside the transmission. You know, you think, if you're going to put a spit on on it, why not put it on the outside? Don't Allison do that? I don't know if we're going to get this off. Yep, we sure are. We're going to get this filter off. Get that filter off. Replace the, the gasket for that filter. And then we'll go ahead and clean that pan, and by that time, the customer should be back. Let's spin that off of there. Let's drain that one a little bit. So there's no number on this filter. So 
Is there a gasket there? I see what happened. So the little filter adapter thing, I can't remember what vehicles used to have these. Well, that's just a plastic one. We'll just put it back in there finger tight. I don't think it has to be tightened. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get this one off. Okay, there's a little, little bolt right there. The little Torx looks like 25 or... Yeah, 25. Let's get that out of there. Zippy zap like. Come on. And you should just twist a little bit on this. And we will move the pan ever so slightly. There we go. So now there is a little seal right up in there. I'm going to replace that. Uh, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but a lot of shops don't. I've even had them come in stacked on top of each other. That's not what we're going to do. And I'm going to have to shine a light up in there. Because you don't want to scratch the, the bore. And it's just a little jobby. So I think the best thing on this one, we'll just knock it inward. And then pull it out with pliers. So it's just this, this little guy. And sometimes they're a bear cat to get out of there. And sometimes they're not too bad. In the room to hit. Alright, maybe plan B? I, I don't have a plan B, but maybe plan B? Yep, it's going to come right out. I just hit it there on the lip a little bit. I'm going to grab my pliers. Pull it down, there it is. Really simple. Now I'm going to put the new one up there. I'm just going to push it in by hand as far as I can. And then, Looks like I was able to get it in there pretty good, so I'll just take a, I got an 18 millimeter half inch drive. Just give her a little tap. Make sure it's seated all the way in, and we are, so we'll finish letting this drain, we'll go clean that pan, and then we'll be ready to go back together. All right, so over here, it's the parts right here. gasket came right off. Real nice. Let's set it over here. Put stamp iron. We'll just wash all this out. We got this parts washer at Harbor Freight. It's kind of small, but works really good. I get the fluid, the parts washer fluid at Tractor Supply. They got the best fluid. Get the magnet. So I think we are going to do something to protect them rust spots. Oh, maybe not. Alright, I think that'll do it. Clean this magnet all up. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in there so we don't forget. Right, right there. Just goes in there, just like that.
Okay, I'm getting ready to put the pan gasket onto the pan. Um, a lot of times I'll use a little weather stripping glue on these. But this one, I'm not. So just want to find out how it goes. You'll take your bolts and start them all. And the gasket will hold them. So we'll do that. Got it all cleaned up, dried up. Then we're going to pop the filter on. And we'll get some fluid in there. There was a bolt left in the socket. Okay, that's ready to go. Let's go change. Let's change out the filter, the spin on, which the new filter has this little insert. So the new filter has the insert already on it. So I'm going to put some transmission fluid in here. We're using the ATF plus 4. I'm going to fill that up, put a little on the gasket. Okay, so I got the filter filled up. I'm going to take a little ATF, go right on the gasket. Let's screw that in there. go and also next we'll put the I don't know which one is the main filter or which one ain't but we're gonna put a little ATF around here so just get a little on your finger and then we'll put a little up here and we'll slide that in just like that We'll get the bolt. And I'll just give her a couple little like that. Alright, she's still dripping a little bit. And this is so the next thing we want to make sure this is all clean around here. Gasket area. So maybe even you want to get a little brake cleaner on the rag. And just wipe that nice and clean. So if this was one you seal with uh, silicone, it has to be absolutely clean and no oil residue. That looks good. So now I'll slide this pan back up in here. Get a couple bolts started with our fingers. There we go. So now what I want to do is get all the bolts ran up finger tight by hand. I'll start torquing them. Hope we don't have too much trouble 
with these back ones. Might have to use my fingers. And I can't get my fingers in there. There's that one. Now this is going to be the hardest one. Now let's run this one up. that one started. So just one more. It's going to be a pain. Now let's get that last one. Not sure what we're going to do. I think we may have just, I may have just gotten it. So you could do this for all these back ones if you don't have a little flex socket like I do. And for final torque, that's probably what we're going to use for these back ones is this little breaker bar. So I think since we're, we got them all snugged up. started. There's something wrong. Maybe it didn't maybe I didn't get it started. I see what what's going on. Somebody's done this before and they've cross threaded this one. It, it screws in for a couple turns before it got snugged up there. Or there's something wrong with this bolt. So now I gotta take that out of there. See what's going on. Something's not right. Yeah, that bolt looks fine to me. Nothing wrong with that bolt. This is not getting in there straight. Just in a. So the other thing you can do too is take these cross member bo motor mount bolts out for the back, lift this up. But I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go get a little 12 point socket for this, which will help me. This goes right to there. It looks like it's in there straight. But something's wrong. Yeah. So it's not it's not in there straight. Somebody has cross threaded this bolt before. And it's causing us to have a nightmare. So 
So now that it's been cross-threaded, we got to try to find the threads that it's supposed to have. And get it to go in straight. I think I found the threads now. It's going in now. So that bolt was not tight, and I did not notice that. That's quite possibly why this was leaking. So one bolt's all it takes. Let's switch back to the other socket. Just since it was cross threaded. Before it's going in just slightly harder than it should right now, but at least it's going. That's definitely going in good now. Because before I'd get it about three threads and it would just stop, or four, I'd get about four threads and she'd just stop. We're starting to snug up onto the pan now. So there's no way to get a torque wrench on these back ones. So we'll snug these all up to where I think a good torque is, like that. And we're going to hand tighten the rest of these. So we'll just, we'll just start on this side, and you definitely don't want to get these too tight, so once you see that gasket start squishing out, that's good. So I'm just using my ratchet like this, and just, I can go tighter, but you'll get a feel for it. I suppose I could measure what I feel is the correct torque. So let's see where we're at. Let me see which scale do we got to read. The outside one. So about 20 inch pounds. Feels about right. If you went any tighter than that, you're really going to squish out the gasket. So that one's going up to about 30, so somewhere between 30, maybe we'll go to 30 inch pounds. Yeah, that feels pretty good. And I'll we'll just go around, make sure all these are tight. Now we'll hit them back ones again. There. So now, 
I'm gonna clean a bunch of this fluid. I'll move you guys back. I want you to get a lot of fluid. We're gonna clean all this fluid off this thing. Go ahead and put the pan back. And we'll get the bottom of this pan a little bit. Some solvent was in there, and then we're going to give her some paint on them bad spots. That's empty. Yeah, so I bet you that transmission pan was leaking in the back, back here. I don't know, still don't know what was getting on the side over here. So I'm going to grab some of that paint we used the other day. And spray this down. That's been in your way the whole time. I don't have to do anything. I just feel better. And them rust spots. Oh, that's good. Okay, so now what I want to do is investigate this. That's why there's a spice here. So, I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like we could use a new, some new training lines. Yeah, they're kind of hard as a rock. I just want to see, maybe these clamps are loose. They're not too loose. I don't know why there's a splice right here. Seems kind of odd. That doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull that apart. It's got, got a barb splice on there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put these clamps back on. Because I'm not going to be able to get that apart. I'm going to recommend that it get some new transmission lines, cooler lines. I don't know what happened here, but this is just not right. I wanted to take that splice out and just look at it, but... I'm not going to be able to do that. Alright. Alright, enough of that. Let's let her down and uh, put some transmission fluid in it, get it warmed up, and check the level. And then after that, he wanted me to... Um, Work on his door lock. So this door lock is not working. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put some fluid in. I think I put like three quarts in. And then check it. Make sure your funnel's clean. So there's one. We're using the Valvoline ATF Plus 4.
There's two. There's three. There's three. There's four. So I think now I'll go ahead and start it up, put it in neutral. We'll get the fluid level at the cold. I'll run it through the gears and recheck. I just went in and uh, ran it through all the gears and the positions. I didn't move the wheels or anything. I had my foot on the brake. I think she's still running down in the two foot. I think it's cool. all the gears again. We're checking the fluid will fit in neutral and running idling. Time. 
All right, so she took six quarts. We still have to take it out on a road test and check the level again, idling and neutral. I can't get a hold of the customer right now. Let's uh, let's take this for a test drive, finish up the transmission, and probably call it a day. She's got 200. She's got 200,470 miles on her. That's not bad. We got gears. That's good. I did double check the transmission again for leaks. I didn't see any. There's something dripping oil though. We just want to get this transmission warmed up so we can see where the level's at. Obviously we're not going to get it fully warmed up. We're just going to go for a short drive. Maybe this will tell us more what's, what this thing is all about. I think there's a wheel bearing out. No, I don't think. I know there's a wheel bearing out. Wow. Okay. And I think there's a somebody replaced the ignition cylinder and that key this key is not the right key for the doors. But I think you know, the power locks don't work, but I think if we can get the power locks working, um, you could use the, the remote that's built into the key. Up ahead here we got the pulleys. Better make sure we're do, doing everything right here. Seat belt. Headlights. I think there's a wheel bearing out, but it could be just the tires. Yeah, there's something. This is not right. Pretty soon you'll be able to see them. It's a quarter mile ahead of us. wheel bearings out or something. I should be able to see him. He's right up here. something wrong with it, other than the tires. She's got a good heater in there, though. Transmission fluid. We do have all our gears. That's a good thing. There's no clunks on this old girl. Okay, there's the F-150.
All right, we're going to have to add a little more fluid. I'm just going to put in just like a quarter quart more. And then uh, right now we're in between just above the fold by a three-eighths of an inch. It's kind of warmed up, but not fully, so just a little bit more will be mine. be wrong, but I think that's something and a half. Yep, that's where I'm going to leave it. Damn thing didn't shut again. There we go. Well, I'll go in here and we'll shut this thing off. For now. Oh, I'll turn the headlights off. All right. Well, that's going to do it for the transmission service. Um, I'll bring you guys along for fixing the door locks and the key and all that. But right now, I'm just going to make this video about the transmission service. So, over and out. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Um, and I'll catch you next time.